for me, it's you know, just a massive honour to be able to race in front of, again, a home crowd um, with the best athletes in the world coming into to race here in Manchester on a track that you know I train at every day. Um, and being able to wear the rainbow jersey, you know, it's sort of a dream, really. Sure, that was perfection from the get-go, really. Um, really pleased with that. And then today, God, yeah, you know, I was. I, was, I just wanted to enjoy it, you know, I really, really wanted to come here and I really wanted to enjoy racing in front of a sellout crowd wearing the rainbow jersey, you know, it's something that I adore. Yeah, and I'm excited to be able to go out and race on a big, wide open track, you know, to date I haven't been able to to perform as I'd like you know, outdoors on, on the bigger track, so, you know, it's, it's a great opportunity for me to go there and, and try and, you know, try and you know, do what I do here in Manchester. Right now it looks like Liam Phillips has an incredible start as well as Sam Willoughby. Where are they going to play out? But now it looks like Tuan Von Gent gets out, but no one's going to back down going to turn one. Right now Liam Phillips in the hunt in the second place spot. Sam Willoughby trying to find space to move up right now, which he is. He'll be going for the lead in the last turn, hoping he hooks up, making sure Tuan is not going to come back and pass him. Wow, what a finish for Sam Willoughby. Sam Willoughby is going to be your champion. Tuan Von Gent in second, Liam Phillips in third. Yeah, obviously I'm going there with, with good form, but you know, being able to deliver when I need to has, has been something that has been key for me to be successful this year. And yeah, I'm just having fun and, and looking to build on that. Obviously this weekend in Berlin and then throughout the, the remaining races ahead of the world. Here we go with quarterfinal number one for stop three of the UCI BMX Supercross World Cup Tour. The K drops and it looks like Liam Phillips has a little bit of trouble getting squeezed out in the back. Let's see if he can make it up. But Corbin Shira progressing uh, throughout this day with his smooth and perfect laps. An American Jared Garcia, winner of the time trial, edges Trent Monis, sitting in the fourth spot. But going backwards, he's got the Brazilian, Rosano Resende, who is absolutely killer on the second half of the track. Let's see where Liam Phillips is, Pete. Yeah, he's back there looking to battle. He looks like he's in seventh place right now. But right now, it's going to be Corbin Shira and Garcia Resende. And it looks like Tremontis got back in that fourth place spot, so we'll see how it comes across the line. It looks like it's going to be Shira, Garcia, Resende, and Tremontis. Liam Phillips, fifth place. I know he's not going to be too happy about that one because you could see him slide out basically down that starting hill. I think that for me, you know, now everything falls on the on the World Cup overall, and that's something that I'm excited you know, to get out there and, and race for. You know, so far, it's been a successful first three rounds with two podiums, and you know, really, I just need need to carry on that and, and get on the podium for the next two rounds, and, and that will be good enough to win.
The gate is down. It looks like Phillips got a really good gate, but so did Trey White. But as Mike alluded to, Dave Herman in that middle definitely looks strong, but it's going to be very crowded going into turn one. And right now, Phillips is on the back looking in, and he's out on the way back, Mike. Yeah, I can't believe he got bumped in that first corner. Oh, and goes down. Right here, there's where things went bad for Liam Phillips. Yeah, it looks like he, him and Sylvain Andre tangled in the air on the crossover jump.